thinks they've uncovered a real scandal amongst the conservative ranks, and that scandal is knowledge of basic photosynthesis. Alberta Conservative MP Blaine Calkins was speaking to a group of school children last week, as MPs tend to do. And while he was there, a CBC reporter was covering the visit, more like spying and hoping for a scandal to unfold. CBC didn't find one, so they created one. Look at what the CBC found to be scandalous here. My party's against the carbon tax, and I'm against the carbon tax personally because I don't think it's going to do what it says. First of all, right now the current government is coining it as uh, a tax on pollution, and whether or not you think carbon dioxide is pollution or not is, I still think, uh, a question. Um, I'm a biologist, I know that carbon dioxide is actually plant food, so there's, there's arguments for and against it. Then CBC found a professor named Sean Marshall at the University of Calgary, who also happens to be a research chair in climate change, who said that Calkins' comments aren't false, but they lack context. So even the climate change scientist, basically a professor who lives off grants to push a solution in search of a problem, couldn't really say that what Cawkin said to those school children was wrong, but that didn't stop the liberals from getting outraged. Here's Cameron Ahmad. Now we've heard from him before. He's the communications director for the prime minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. This is what Ahmad had to say about photosynthesis. A conservative MP spread misinformation about climate change to a classroom of kids saying carbon dioxide is actually plant food. You know what? Let's stop. I love the scare quotes there. <laughs> anyway, let's go on. Young people deserve better from a member of the official opposition. Does Andrew Shear share these views? Does the party of science really not know what plants eat? Now, I know the liberals watch the rebel religiously, so I hope they watch me do this next piece of serious investigative journalism. Just watch. Hey, Google, what do plants eat? According to MBG Net, plants make food in their leaves. The leaves contain a pigment called chlorophyll, which colors the leaves green. Chlorophyll can make food the plant can use from carbon dioxide, water, nutrients, and energy from sunlight. The liberals are beside themselves that someone would point out to a group of Alberta brainwashing victims, I mean school children, that the liberal line about carbon being pollution is just not scientifically true. It is a building block of all life on earth and something plants need to eat to survive. And I should hope Andrew Scheer agrees with Blaine Calkins because it's true. Now, I want to say that I can't even believe that there are people out there that think this way about carbon dioxide, but it's pretty clear that this has become a Liberal Party talking point. Plants eat something, but we can't say that it's carbon dioxide because that doesn't fit with the Liberal narrative that carbon dioxide must be demonized and then therefore taxed. To use the language of the left here, I'd suggest the science is pretty close to settled on this photosynthesis thing. Like, what do the liberals think plants eat? Cheerios? Now, by the way, I thought I'd add this just as a side note, although it doesn't make the liberals any more wrong than they already are, because that's impossible. The MP in question here, Blaine Calkins, he's a biologist, a zoologist, actually. So clearly someone with a stronger natural science background than either Catherine McKenna or Cameron Ahmad. Calkins has spent much of his career outside of politics working to preserve and protect nature as a fishing guide, as a fisheries technician for Alberta Fish and Wildlife, and as a conservation officer and park warden. He's probably spent more time outside in nature than all of his critics. The real scandal here isn't that a conservative MP who happens to be a biologist, thinks that plants eat carbon dioxide. The real scandal is that the CBC and the Liberal Party of Canada don't have a clue what plants really eat. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. What you just saw there is my daily video that I do here at The Rebel, but did you know that I have my own weekly full-length show? It's aptly called The Gun Show 
where we talk about issues facing Canadian families in a way the mainstream media just never would. But to get access to my show and the rest of our incredible premium Rebel content, you should treat yourself and your family to a Rebel subscription this Christmas.